The Wrestling Mayhem Show. Since 2006, the pioneer in pro wrestling podcasting. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network for your independent wrestling entertainment. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Do what you got to do, make it last. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 925. Tuesdays we've been talking professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the social medias here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, where there was a car accident in front of the studio not too long ago. That's okay. It cleared out before our guest was in here. But first of all, on the line, coming at us from Riz Central is the Riz from his... It's me. Yes. From, from his secret from lair on Skull Island. Yes, Exactly. It's been a it's it's been a while, hasn't it? You saw like some weeks? shit this weekend. I saw you a saw lot a lot of shit this weekend. I've, I I need to re up my contract with Sorgatron Me or with Psychic Media. You need to increase um, your health insurance. And yeah, I need insurance. to make sure not not to sign any papers that Derek gives us. Next yeah, time. no, no, Got don't do that. Don't do that either. Don't do that either. So, um, yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that. Uh, a lot of the uh, cameraman follies here over the weekend, but also with as somebody who's responsible for some of that stuff. And also, I understand he's big in Japan. The man behind the beast, man. Ah, I guess who's back on Sorgan and the wrestling. Not us, baby. We are back. That's fuck it. Jamie Jameson. What That's the, the first. fuck? That's the first thing I wanted to say. Fuck Jamie Jameson. Okay. Motherfucker. Any right. exp explanation? There goes our monitor. Did you see what fucking happened Sunday? I saw what the happened fucking Sunday. Guy yes. I almost had fucking Congo mm -hmm. Kong beat, knocks me right across the fucking head with a sledgehammer. Son of a bitch. Motherfucker. Wait till 2PW on Friday when I see your ass. I went to move that during the meeting, at the post the post event meeting, and I was like, that is real. That is a real mm -hmm. as hell shit. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a gimmick. It is not a gimmick sledgehammer. Um, I almost dropped it on my own foot. Uh, anyways, uh, no, yes, the Miami Island Victory Championship Wrestling. You were just in Big Japan Wrestling. We're going to talk all about that. Oh, here. I got a lot of stories. Oh, a lot I of bet. stories. I know something you learned while you were over there. Uh, so, yeah, it was brought up in the meeting, too. Um, but anyways, uh, is the Wrestling Man Show. We talk, we talk about the wrestles, and we got to keep on what was the news of the weekend. And some of us saw some of it. I don't know. It was a very busy weekend. We were on the road. I, I Myself, I was part of four shows this weekend. And so, but I did manage to catch up with the WWE pay per views in some fashion. Um, you know, uh, find yourself a girl that'll that'll take the wheel coming back from a DC booking, so you can watch the afternoon WWE pay per view in the car. Uh, that's all I got to say there. But there was Bash in the Berlin. Uh, there was NXT No Mercy with TNA's Joe Hendry in the main event against Ethan Page. What a bonkers timeline we live in right now, Riz. The doors open. Doors open. Door is wide open. There's no. There's no. There's no door. There's no door. There's no portal. It's it's take one from another place. Do another thing. Mm -hmm. It's just like I I don't know what to expect. Jordan Grace just said that she was going to defend the TNA Knockouts Championship on WWE programming this week. Nice. Yes. And and Hendry did say that anytime anywhere. Any brand, any brand, or any place. I think any it's place. any place. Any, okay, but I, uh, Hendry, I can't imagine this experiment going without Hendry and Jordan Grace definitely being WWE in the very near future within a year uh, as a I, full time. I, I am going to say this: it's gonna. Joe Hendry is going to be in the Rumble. It has to be. Has to be. Cool him off for a month or two. Pop up. He'll be great. Um, no, I, I, this experiment's really interesting. I, you know, I thought it was interesting that we had a, uh, 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 uh oh, who was it? Uh, his name was Nash at the time. Wentz, uh, came in with the, uh, TNA X division title for his match with, um, uh, Wesley on the NXT pay-per-view. Um, first time the Colorado's had a PLE and they said, I think they said 18 years, which is wild. Cause I know they're always there for Raw and SmackDown. Um, you know, it was, uh, it was, and again, like nothing really, I, I, you know, I can't say, Berlin, the Berlin show was a fun show. Um, we got new women's tag team champions in, uh, what was it? I think Bianca and Jay got it back, right? right. Um, and uh, some good championship matches, but really just stuff that kind of establishes 
you know, Cody and, and, and Gunther as, as, as big champions, big homecoming for Gunther, of course. Um, so, uh, the, the Rhea Damien versus all of judgment day, uh, had some nice, uh, moments there. Um, you know, next chapter in the story. Um, it, but to me, I think the biggest thing is, and, and, and Riz, I don't think you watched a whole lot of, uh, Saturday show. The presentation is really interesting. Um, like they're we're really upping our entrances. We're really upping our packages. It's they're definitely doing some of the UFC style mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, presentation for a lot of this. Randy Orton really just kind of walked out by himself for about five minutes, the entirety of the song with the crowd singing it. And like, that was it. And it was like on one of those AK cameras and everything. And just him looking around and stuff like they really are like, you know, again, we're doing like what pay-per-views with like five matches on the card. Um, name and he appears. I believe do it, Riz. In Joe Hendry. Do it, Riz. I believe in Joe Hendry. Oh, there's no claps. That is no claps. I was, I wanted, Riz to, I wanted Riz to do the turnaround. <laughs> so, oh, I, it, I can't, I have a cord. You have a cord. Oh, you can still have done a little bit of a. A little, little bit. We yeah, can't do the yeah. zooms though. We can't do. Can't the do zooms. zoomies. Can't do There's zoomies. No zoomies on this. So, uh, <laughs> good weekend for that. I was told to uh, go ahead and uh, do the YouTube recap of uh, Raw last night. <laughs> it was, it yeah. was pretty. It was pretty mediocre. I mean, the only thing, the only good thing about the, the only good thing, and I, I never say this about new people. Mm-hmm. Joe Tessator did pretty good at his job okay i was like, hearing i'm about an hour in i'm getting messages from one of our mayhemers saying uh just skip raw i want to come on tomorrow just to complain about this guy and and you're saying that he he came back around i mean he was Tessator, new Tessator, i mean he's not he's not gonna be michael cole he's not gonna be pat mcafee he's he's he has a is he has a voice that would that is that is for sports he mm-hmm. And I believe he started with the XW, XFL. No way. As well. No way. I think he was one of the first ones. Okay. I'd be wrong. But. Um, not on his Wikipedia. Not on his Wikipedia. No. Maybe I'm thinking of something so else. So this, this guy, he he does he has a sportscaster background with ESPN. He does, he's done Monday yeah. Night Football. Uh, he's a do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh, 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 NBA looks like on ABC. So he's got some pedigree as a um, you know play by play boxing as well. So mm-hmm. so it all kind of comes together. Um, they said this was his first on screen role with WWE, which makes me think he's kind of been with them for a little bit uh, behind the scenes, perhaps. So and you can tell he like is really mm-hmm. he, he was green. Like mm-hmm. I I will admit he was green, but it was only slightly. It was only slightly. Like it's it wasn't it wasn't adamantly bad. He's uh he seems to be a Connecticut boy and um let's see and uh, <laughs> they, his reviews announcing Monday Night Football have have uh, been, uh, uh not all of his reviews have been positive according to his Wikipedia page. Uh, John Tetty wrote Tessator Tessatori Tessator 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 is uh, a merchant of schmaltz. Cliches are a given in football announcing, but few commentaries and NFL banalities at the potential. Listen, you're using these words. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, first, of, <laughs> first, of all, like, first of all, what is like, what is wrestling announcing mm-hmm. when it isn't just like whole like just that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like you have to fill that time. Yeah, and, and and to go full circle on this, and then JBL was on TNA on Friday after also coming out at the Triple A. And I think GCW. a week ago. And GCW. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> this is the best timeline. This is yep. the most insane timeline right wow. now. Like I'm 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 almost certain somebody from AEW is going to come over to WWE or vice versa. Well, I think that's already happened. Uh, uh, th- th- that's going to keep happening. That that's, is yeah. no, no. As yeah. contracts come and go, that is going to keep happening. It's going to be mm-hmm. very exciting as people kind of make those decisions back and forth. As um, long as everybody's making money and being successful, it's all and that's nice. the thing. There's more opportunity, yeah. right? For for everybody that's on that level, and for people to come up and replace them, yeah. right? So yeah, that's what you look for. It, like you know, who doesn't need a beast man, for so, instance? Call me Tommy. So. There you go. 
Um, anyway, so there was a lot, a lot of that. With uh, anything else uh, stick out last night for you for Raw or the weekend or anything like that from what you saw, Riz? Um, I actually can't wait for. Like I, I know I say this every like every time I'm on here for the last few weeks, but I can't wait for the Wyatt Six because they're, they're they're the entire Wyatt Six is wrestling. Okay. Well, five of or four, four of them, I guess is a better term for it. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna be like the four of them, including Nikki Cross, mm-hmm. uh, Sister Ab- Sister Abigail, whatever, against the Alf or American. American males, uh, or American made, sorry, uh, with with Ivy Nile. Mm-hmm. So I can't wait to see how they all meld together, and like, I just like it, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting moment, I think. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was a nice little touching moment where, uh, when out when Howie when Bo came out. He mentioned that it had been 370 plus days mm-hmm. since Bray Bray died, and like he he me- he mel- he mixed that emotion with wrestling again. Mm-hmm. He mixes that wrestling again with tying it all back into Chad Gable. Yeah, and like it was it was you can tell that they like it, it was nice hearing him. It, it's it's nice because they're they're doing the wide stuff and and there's actually like I felt like when 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 Bray came back the last time or you know a couple times like we we have promo 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 for like two months you know and, but there's actually is like like you know something to sink our teeth into it's not just Bray coming out and then you know his kind of ongoings with the Uncle Howdy character at the time you know there's 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 more to it and there's a lot of depth to it so I'm appreciating that. Uh, a side note here, uh, you know, we talk about the flimsy paper mache door. Um, the Rascals are in a three-way uh, tag division <laughs> contender match uh, tonight on NXT. I'm, I'm sure our chat room let us know how that goes with uh, uh, Walker and Ledger and Gallus, apparently. And uh, so. fucking Rosemary. And what? Is that Rosemary? Oh, my God, that is Rosemary <laughs> over there against Tatum like, Paxley. I, what the fuck is happening? I believe that was... Was that... Is that tonight? Wow! Because I, I know this she looks was, like tonight. Yeah, she was. Uh, she debuted last week. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? So, yeah. Good wow. for her. Like, I, good for. Like, I. I'm excited for that. That's incredible. Um, I, I, you know, it's a fun partnership. I hope WWE doesn't purchase them. I hope Anthem is still a thing. I hope this is a move to. I know there's been expression of Anthem or uh, TNA wants to get on a better program or a better network so more people can see what the hell they're up to. Hopefully this is a, maybe this is that, maybe this is that them helping with this. Maybe they're going to mm-hmm. fill a hole somewhere where, <laughs> where, where uh, maybe USA will pick up TNA at this rate. Wednesdays at seven on sci-fi. Wednesdays at seven. Yeah. Hey, yeah, why not? Right. Or, uh, or, or maybe even if it was even a third string Comcast NBC channel, yeah. if TNA got picked up on Peacock and honestly, the Peacock deal is up. I don't think Peacock, I don't like, I don't think, I think all that's going to Netflix in America, yep. honestly. Yeah. And Peacock might still want something and maybe they'll pick up something like a TNA to replace them. You know, I mean, I can see it. I mean, it won't be, they'll get them for a lot cheaper. That's for sure. And still have that content. Mm-hmm. So I've been, and, go ahead. As I was say, and we haven't even talked about like, uh, I believe her name, uh, I haven't really followed it too much, but Julia, Julia. Yes. Yeah. It's Julia. It's just Julia. It's Julia. I know it looks weird. <laughs> it's just Julia from my understanding. But so. yeah, I, I, I need to do my research on mm. her because mm. I've heard, amazing thing she is fantastic she was at uh juniors weekend uh mm-hmm. last week last year in philadelphia i think that was her first match in america if i'm not mistaken and uh yeah she's she's pretty incredible um so unfortunately it's not easy to watch stardom stuff so um you okay with the microphone over there yeah I'm just- there we go. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> there we go. Oh, all, right, all right. All right. Oh, we got it. We got to get the uh, beast man on the spotlight here. But in the meantime, I want to give a shout out to our friends over on the Patreon supporting the show. I know we didn't get a Patreon last week. We were really kind of wiped out. Hi, after. Bradley. Hi, Bra- yeah, Brad. <laughs> get ahead of me. He's on a Hi- Bradley. How's your underwear after this weekend? <laughs> Did you see that clip? I'm hoping he signed a waiver before he came into the venue, so I don't have to any <laughs> litigations or anything. Do we have so. a way? Do you have a waiver for the fans? They're supposed to be. Be, but I don't what know. really? My wife runs the door. What do you oh, expect? Oh no! So. 
What a, what kind of show is this? You got to sign a waiver as a fan. What is it? Wait, I thought only, they, Bradley, only Bradley. Only Bradley. Yeah. Bradley. That is true. That, you know, I was going to say you saw the you saw the weapons in that last match. He's the main event. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. We had a we had a bat wiffle ball bat filled with forks. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. It's been pretty nuts. Um, yeah. So the, the the leave it to the minds of the. Um, uh, of, of the West Virginia faithful out there. Uh, anyways, no, thank you to everybody that does support the show on Patreon. Again, it helps us keep things going, help us decide if anybody's actually listening out there. If you're putting money in every week, then somebody's paying attention, and we do appreciate it. We're going to keep the show rolling here. Uh, but thank you, everybody, that does currently uh, contribute. We'll probably have, I understand we are going to have a special return guest, uh, our, our usual secret person, that's banned from the show uh, on our Patreon here uh, after uh, we go off the air here. And, of course, uh, we do put out the live feed on the Patreon so you can see stuff behind the scenes when we go to commercial. Uh, and you can see the Patreon recorded live as well. Thank you, everybody, that does support the show. Our friends at the Fan of the Show level, Bo Diggity! Woo! Uh, the the woo takes away the zoom it takes away does. the woo and I hate it. It does go. Away. I hate yeah. it. it. It thinks it's, it's noise. The pitch. It's yeah. It's it the... is Team Hamifist, Tupac family, Megan Nelson, Bubba Brewer, and Jason French at the Poppy Club level. Dave Profob Potter, Spouse the Rooster Julia Fred, Rooster Julia Fred dot com. Rats in a trench coat. Tony Kincaid. Uh, Pete's Club level. The Riz as well That's as me. wait. What is what is happening there? And a manager level. There he is, Bradley. It's right here. Right there. There he is. And that's right his underwear. Here. His underwear matches your shirt. It does. Look at that. Look at that. How do you do that? That's how do you know you're going to wear that shirt unmatched. on Tuesday? Look at that. I love <sighs> I love how nobody behind is entertained by this situation. No. <laughs> they're no, just like, just, I don't know. They're just right. Like they're they're just not, right, yeah, they're they're just, not yeah. amused by wedging. Or maybe they just have some some PTSD happening there. Maybe. And also, Tina Keys, the mother of dragons at the manager level. Thank you. Uh, everybody that does support the show. I, I can't oh, the venue. Uh, actually, Mrs. Beastman is in the in the chat room and says oh, the venue fuck. the venue used to make them uh, have everybody sign it. So that's interesting. Mm. So oh, we gotta keep things PG now if the wife's in the chat room. So fuck. I know. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, anyways, the Beast Man is back. I guess you you're about a month back from Japan, right? What, more or less? No, more than a month. Uh, My about, God, it took about, me forever to get you here on the show. About a month and a week. A month and a week. You've been back. You've reacclimated. And been busy and been busy and goddamn it has been good. Yes, so. you have been. I think you were in Texas. You were in Canada. Uh, did I see a Florida loops in there somewhere? Florida, yep. You saw Florida. I got to do this month. Has, well, this past month has been one of the greatest fucking months i've had in a long ass time i mm-hmm. feel like i am back to where i need to be when mm-hmm. it comes to my confidence and where i need to be where i need to be in indie wrestling because this past weekend saturday i was up in uh Leamington, ontario canada for ncg in front of seven fucking hundred people first time i've ever been to that place main event against my boy my good friend stone rockwell action i'm not gonna say every because he'll yell at me if i do i still have his hat by the way he doesn't know i took it with me so <laughs> cats out of the bad nick okay <laughs> okay and then what sunday we had about almost 300 of ecw so can't say anything bad indie wrestling is good for me right now i hope everybody else is it seems like awesome. it is in pittsburgh I mean, awesome. RWA had what about four hundred over the weekend? Mm-hmm. Eight eighty mm-hmm. every Thursday night, drawn what they've been drawn as of late. How about I have a seat? Yep, but I do want to fucking congratulate uh, Max. Oh, sorry, uh, David Lawless and uh, shit. Reese? Been a mess. Yes, Reese has been a mess. Sorry, Reese. On their hour Broadway, they did last Thursday. So I applaud you guys on that. Not a lot of people can do that nowadays. So. Good shit, guys. Uh, Beast man, uh, I, I'm not saying you're going to in the near future, but if you were to do a 60 minute Iron Man match, who would be your opponent? Who would be my opponent? That is the million dollar question. I mean, we just went 32 minutes on Saturday, Sunday with Congo Kong. That so. was 32 minutes. 32 minutes. Man, no so wonder 30, we went over. Yeah. Hey, blame a certain uh, Super Oprah. No, that's like right. The <laughs> that's so. called stalling. Yes, we <laughs> yes. stall for time, as Mick Foley would say. Mm hmm. Uh yeah, my that is a great question. Sixty minutes. Who would I go sixty minutes with? There's only one person that I know I would want to do it with, and that would be and I can't believe I'm gonna say his name. Patrick fucking Hayes. 
because you know he's going to walk around the ring yeah. for 30 just, of it. Yes. I just, what is yes. <laughs> yes. You know what? If there's really, there's two people I like to do 60 minutes with just to test my skills. Mm -hmm. Bill Collier, Spencer Slade. Mm. I think I could do it with them. They just had a match with mm. each other. I know. Too. I, yes. I watched the match and I was blowed up in the first 30 seconds by watching it. But uh -huh. if I could pick two guys that I could go 60 minutes. I want to go 60 minutes with. It'd be them. There you go. Bubba Brewer. I know you watch the show. Come on, Bubba. Don't put that out there. Put that out there. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if the Johnstown crowd's ready for that third show in, but uh, maybe a thirty <laughs> minute. Maybe we do a thirty minute just just to just to test the waters, you know. So um, no, because I, I got to think because I was looking up like um, the only place that's been crazy enough to do Iron Man matches was RWA over the years. Most mm -hmm. of them were last decade, mm -hmm. and I think they did two thirty minutes and one sixty. And I didn't respect to the workers. I don't think it came off where, as well as even last Thursday's did. So like like I was amazed I I didn't think 880 was ready for a Iron Man match. Nobody that's the great thing cuz everybody's so used to 10 minute matches yeah. in and out. Mm -hmm. bananas. I don't know, I haven't seen the banana yet. So yeah. yeah. Um, but see it's popular on our YouTube. It's weird. It's like Brett Baker and Banana Man. Hey, whatever you can draw is, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, there so. you go. So what we need is Britt Baker versus Banana Man. Then we'll break the freaking internet. <laughs> That's what happens. So one thing I've like, like just by seeing, because like not a lot of fans that are, and especially this day and age, will probably never get to see a 60-minute match like mm. live. The last time it was on paper, who was what, Danielson and... Uh, MJF like last year. Well, they just did. They just did sixty minutes, near sixty minutes. Um, MJF and Osprey on TV last month. So I mean, it's still it's still it's, it's still a thing. Yeah, but, like yeah. seeing it in indie wrestling back and seeing no, it in indie no, wrestling no. is very rare because yeah. like everybody thinks that everybody thinks they can pull it off. Yes, it <laughs> takes it's a special thing that no, we got three people. Okay, that I want to do sixty minutes with another person, Sam and Oz. Mm -hmm. Has to happen. That will happen. It can happen. I will fucking make it happen. If Sam doesn't make it happen, I know somebody that were that could be family of his and a friend of mine that could make it happen. So mm -hmm. somewhere down the line, sixty minutes, Beast Man Sam Doss is gonna happen. I don't know when or where, but it will fucking happen. I will put my fucking light. I will put my marriage on the line if it doesn't. So. Oh, shit. And right now, and it's like, what the fuck is he talking about? Nick Wayne, Joey Janela had one a couple months ago as well. See, there, there is go. still a thing. But go. like the thing about it is, like nobody mm. knows how to tell a proper story no. in sixty minutes. No. no, you know, God forbid. Uh, the last time I, I think the longest match I ever had was like forty-seven, mm -hmm. and that was with that was with Patrick fucking Hayes before he started stalling for thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Four years mm -hmm. ago, before the pandemic, in a certain place that we don't like to talk about or discuss. That, okay, that, that I'll probably get fined if I say it. So. <laughs> get fine. You said if I mention three letters or a town oh. that's like near Monroeville, I get fined. So it's not going to happen. So what are we, who said that? Nobody Wait, you said, said that. to what are me. You talking about? You said to me before I tried to go across the street and get those uh, those tacos that no, have a health <laughs> that have health code violations. So. I just I was just telling you about that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What's near Monroeville? Wait, near Monroe. <laughs> People can read your lips. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Can't get fired. I don't say it. <laughs> I can lip it. I don't know. Does he think I have fine power around here, Briz? Is that you? Uh, Is that Bradley know. that I, does that? Probably, he's a, he's a, he is a manager. He is one of the managers. He is one of the so. managers of the show, so I guess he would love you a fine if that is. Uh, Beastman is there so he doesn't get fined. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, Dean Radford is in the chat saying guys have trouble doing twenty minutes. Sadly. Oh Jesus yes. Christ! There's <sighs> fucking Dean. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Dean. Well, let's get into it. So you went to Japan. You went to uh, Big Japan Wrestling. Yes. You were. Uh, what was it? You had ten dates in uh, across fifteen days. I did. I'm... I did thirteen shows in fifteen days. Thirteen shows in fifteen mm -hmm. days. Okay. Um, first of all, for those who don't know, um, you know, obviously we've, we, obviously on this show, we've, we've heard of Noah, New Japan and things like that. What, what is Big Japan? So Big Japan is a mix of strong style, Japanese strong style with deathmatch. It's okay. two different things. It's, it's two different divisions. 
I went over there on the deathmatch side of things. And uh, with Baka Gaijin, with Mammy Apondo, Dale Patrick's, uh, two great guys. Happy to call them my friends, especially doing this tour with them. And you'd be surprised how there's people on, but like, okay, there's people that that do the strong style that also do deathmatch. Not mm-hmm. as many as you would think. Sure. But the crowds love it. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's not like crazy deathmatch that you would see over here in the States where you're using like their matches mean something. Mm-hmm. And they tell stories. Like there, there's story with the deathmatch. Yes. Like mm-hmm. I was part of a, 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 I was in a, a round robin deathmatch tournament while I was over there. And yep, there we are. <laughs> There we are. Look how be- uh was that the match from Pondo Manage? Yes, it is. I got a good story about that match right there too. Okay. So, and this is uh, BJWCore.com, uh, I believe. Yeah, uh, they, they have a nice little subscription service. You can check out a lot of the matches uh, from the tour. And they finally yeah. posted this. Ma- I cannot wait to watch this match. Mm-hmm. So, okay, the gentleman in the um, not in the blue jacket. That's Aoki. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's their strong style champ. Um, that's Ishikawa. Son, who just retired, mm-hmm. great dude, um, drinking buddy, and that is Hashimoto's kid, right there in the jacket. Hashimoto's son's kid. Okay. Hmm. And in this match, Dale got kicked in the fucking head as hard as he as hard as he fucking could. So that was a fun fucking day and a half right there. That's Dale Patrick's uh, Dale, part of, part of Gaijin. Yep, Dale yes. Patrick's. Yep. Uh and Pondo was the manager of that match, too, which made it even fucking funny <laughs> <laughs> Seeing him outside yelling at people, shut up, shut up, and fucking. <laughs> awesome. Now, it, it, I, you, I got to live my dream. Mm-hmm. And I've been saying people, oh, people's, everybody's been asking me, what's it like in Japan? Mm-hmm. What was it like over there in Japan? It was fucking real. Mm-hmm. Getting on that plane, traveling 12 hours, landing in Tokyo. Stepping foot, my blood fucking touching the ground of Corgan Hall. It was real. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it was the greatest fucking feeling ever. Uh, coming back home, the transition from wrestling almost every night to back to two two days a week has been kind of hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I'm still not, it still hasn't like sunk in that I'm home yet in a way, just because like it's like it, that rush of like knowing what it was like is still there in my body i still want to fucking be do it man it's insane you know it's mm-hmm. not and what i mean by it is like just if you ever get a fucking opportunity to go mm-hmm. appreciate it because they appreciate it over there it's not like over here in the states where it's just like oh it's just another fucking show no they respect the sport they mm-hmm. respect the people who come over they treat you respect every person even though i can't fucking understand what half of them fucking say over there they <laughs> They will still like okay. Here's an example. Okay, um, we did four days in Sapporo, and it was the second day. Uh, I was walking here. It was like so. They took us to the hotel from the bus to the arena. Uh, there's a gas station. Our family weren't right down the street. Go. I go out and they, these two get people get these two guys get out of the car and they're coming walk, right over to me. I don't know what the, I'm like. Let's fucking go. Thinking they're Yakuza. I don't know. Yakuza. What the fuck. I was gonna say it's Yakuza. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, you. who did I? Like, I what did know. you do? That's what I'm trying to think. First thing. No, and they pulled out a picture of me, and they wanted me to sign and take a picture with them. Hmm. Yeah, like was not expecting that at all. Uh, so that was cool. I got that happened. I got recognized at a train station, uh, a couple gas stations. You know, on our way to Corgan Hall, we stopped and got recognized at Family Mart. That was they. They know the fans know who you are before you go over. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I had a, I literally was promoted three weeks before I went over there on the tour, and we were packed out every night. The mm-hmm. first night we, I mean, the bus ride from Tokyo, no, from Yokohama, because that's where the dojo is, to um, Hokkaido, the island itself. You were, you were on, like, the, the northernmost, like, that Sapporo I was, region uh, I yep, always hear about. Yep. Yeah. And, hold on. <coughs> and it was a 27-hour bus ride with a five-hour ferry in there. Mm-hmm. To the first show, Ooh. non-stop. They go non-stop, mm-hmm. and we all, everybody helps us. And that's not like there's no, oh, I can't help with the ring. I'm gonna be late. Everybody helps. Yeah, like 
I as soon as we got to the town, get out of the bus, mm-hmm. go fucking get the ring, get the arena ready. Yeah. Everybody does it. Even Pondo did it. Mm-hmm. He, and he's the man over there. Yeah. So when it comes to like a team effort, everybody helps. And that's something that I wish more people over here in America would do. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. I've been ever since I've been home, I've been more uh I've been more, I'm not using my vet card or anything like that, but I've been more like helping out with tearing down and stuff mm-hmm. after a show. Cause like, mm-hmm. I mean, like we got jobs and shit, but I mean, you can't get there early to help out or yeah. anything like that. But, yeah. so, but I do the best I can. Yeah. So it, that's been different. The food over there. I mean, I've lost, let's talk, let's be real. I've lost almost 60 pounds in the last like four months. So mm-hmm. skinny beast man probably will never happen. But if I can get back to a three X shirt, I'm okay with that. Okay. Uh, healthy beast man. Healthy or beast man. Ask my wife how healthy I am. I eat taco bell three days a week still. So I saw you go for that taco stand that has the consumer alert over yes, there. So yes, yes. The you're very excited yes. about it. Yes. Can you post the picture I sent in the group chat? <laughs> please. <laughs> please. I was here. so when when Sork told me about the taco the, the taco grocery place. store got sixteen health violations. Do you know where 16. the good shit is at? That's it. Like that's no. Yes. You know where. No. Yes. Anywhere that has health code violations, he looks that's so where happy. the happy. Pointing at the consumer violation. <laughs> I, what are we doing here? <laughs> Jeez. And they were out of tacos. Yes. So they, I don't know if it like, are they making less so they, they're not in violation or is, are they having a run on it because everybody knows? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, uh, Ref Rosie's in the chat room says, so happy for you, Wes. Hi Rosie, how are you? Hope you're. Uh, I hope you enjoy the trip when you're over there. There you go. There you go. Oh, is Rosie going? She's supposed to be, from ah, what I was told. Nice. So, Everybody's going to Japan. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. I will. And so I know there's like stories you want me to talk about and <laughs> stuff like that. We'll get to that in a minute. But like, uh, I got to do everything that I have ever thought I would never get to do. Mm-hmm. I got to chase fucking fans with my bone, and they ran like <laughs> sons of bitches. Mm-hmm. I have let, like I said, I got to bleed in Corrigan Hall. I got my boots fucking sold. Like I got to sell my boots to Totacon, which was awesome. Which are now back in Pittsburgh, apparently, for what I hear. So <laughs> <laughs> somebody bought it from over here, and brought him back. So <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> I got my Rivera jacket. Yes. And so that's yes. pretty cool. I got the steak was pretty good. Yeah. So everybody wants to go for the jacket. I wanted to go for the food. They had a steak challenge. I was wanting I mean, to be so fucking bad. They no, we don't. They're like, no, no, no. He's no, we don't have no, not enough steak for him. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like I, I mean, there has to be some, some pull to get wrestlers to go there. So mm-hmm. the steak has to be good. Oh yeah, it's mm-hmm. it, it's the, the, what not the history riz of it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the history too, but what are you going to do when you sit there and talk about the history and then go home? No, I mean, the hit, steak. I, I mean, the steak. there's steak. It's a steakhouse. So inside Rabir, I got pictures I'll pull out later. Um, like they got pictures of inside of all the guys that were there to get the jacket, sign the photos and all that stuff. Like it's a fucking little mini museum in itself right there. So it's pretty cool. They have a capital sports jacket from Owen Hart. Um, over there on display. So yeah, wow. yeah. So that was pretty cool. I think it was Owen because it was his picture's right beside him with the jacket on. So, mm-hmm. um, ah, it's just a lot of a lot of cool things you see. I mean, there's mm-hmm. a lot of cool stuff over there. Um, you, you, you. I, I know you dabbled a, a little bit here before you left, uh, but you, you typically were not a deathmatch wrestler of sorts. So this is a little bit of this was a little bit of a. I want to say stretch, but you know, it, it was not, you're, you're not known as a deathmatch wrestler. Typically. I'm not. Right. And I'm probably still not going to be known as a deathmatch wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> Unless Japan calls again. <laughs> hey, December, December, I'm supposed to be going back. So. Okay. All yeah, right. There you go. Breaking news. Beast Pan goes go. back to Japan in December. So there you go. Which means everybody back here in the States, money's going to go up. So, <laughs> now nah, I'm joking. Japan's uh, own beast man. Yes. Uh, what they had a name? What do they call? The, the, didn't they call you like a beast man Kong or something King like that? King Kong Hus. King Kong Hus. Yes. And I love it. And I'm getting. I'm using it here in the states. There better be some T-shirts for with that. It's coming. They're coming. They're coming. I gotta sell. Let me sell the ones that I couldn't sell over here first. Which okay. Was, the, which the, I the, the Mothman what, and the Bad Boy ones. No, those are. 
dude, those have been gone. So oh, I'm glad I got one when I no, did. No, I got a new. I've had a new design now for a couple months. Okay, that are, it's slowly selling. Slowly okay, selling, all right, so. all right, all right. People, okay, so I go over to Japan. I my what? Like I have a big ass bag of merch with me. Like I got mm-hmm. like probably like four, 50 shirts, 40 hats, mm-hmm. 100 pictures. Uh, my wife makes so my wife for some fucking reason thought it'd be a great idea to get a 3D printer. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. She started making these like little bone keychains. I saw those. Yeah, with yeah. Japanese. Great. Yeah, and she's like, "Oh, you should take these over here. They'll sell." I'm like, they're not gonna sell as much. Like, I'm thinking, like, I'm. I don't think they're gonna sell. Third fucking day of the show. Third day of the tour. They were sold out of them all. Nice. So, yep. So once again, I was wrong, and Anna was right. So she's probably doing this right now. She's like, "Mm-hmm. Yep." And you say it publicly on this show. Yep, I guess I did. Tens and tens of people yes, to, be, to listen she, to. She knows I love it. It's going to be clipped. So you got, <laughs> hey, like I said, if it wasn't for you, Sorg, I wouldn't be sitting right now here married. So, uh, Yep, yep, my fault, as we we, we talked about last time you were on. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, yes, huh. it was. So, um, so, 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 again, when talking about the death match a little bit, so what was the adjustment? Obviously, you did a little bit here. You did a match with uh, uh, Pondo and Shadow here in your own promotion. Um, and obviously there, there, there was some pretty wild stuff. I, I was seeing just from the videos yeah. and, and, and watching there on B, BJW core and everything like that. Um, you know, is the, it, what, first, I guess the questions are, uh, uh, what's the difference between death match uh, between America and Japan and, and how was that kind of adjustment for you? It's safer in Japan than it is in America. I noticed the crowd was protected yes. from the glass. Yes. And I'm currently thinking about buying a shit ton of ponchos and put my fucking name on and sell them to fans of death match shows if I, <laughs> if I do anymore five bucks you can wear a poncho and have all the fucking light to fucking mm-hmm. come on you so but they had people around the ring so anytime there was glass because they had like the glass on the on yep. the on like the tubes on the ropes and there were like like workers like blocking for the fans and then they had it was like the front row at sea world and they'd all pull this plastic up like, it was a Gallagher contest. Yeah, yeah like a Gallagher, yeah, like a Gallagher <laughs> thing, right? Yeah. So, like, it was wild um, what was going on down there. Uh, so, the, and that was like one of the first shows that we saw out of that. It, it was just, it was really interesting. And we've seen, like, I've been to like Michigan shows where people are just like hitting glass on the post and it splatters on the people across the thing at a bingo hall, you know, or yeah. a Legion hall or something like that. Like, it's it's nuts. No, like like I said a few minutes ago, like they respect mm-hmm. the. They respect everybody that does it over there. Mm-hmm. And for me, like if having like not having any prior deathmatch experience, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it in a place where it means something. You know? Yes. Yeah. So sure. getting to have my first two match mm-hmm. uh was pretty I I didn't walk away. I can tell you this, I came I did come out a little cut up with some glass in me, but Yeah. Like you're you got in your arm or something, right? Yeah. yeah. But you know what? Uh I did it with Ishikawa son, and mm-hmm. if there was one person to do it with, it was him. Mm-hmm. And I was honored to have one of his final matches. I uh, did a lot of barbed wire boards, so that was pretty fun. Uh, my favorite <laughs> match, I did, barbed wire boards ain't so bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, my favorite match, my favorite death match on the tour was me and Dale had a, uh, yeah, barbed wire board match was probably one of my, which was probably my favorite match of the whole tour that we did, other mm-hmm. than the Corrigan Hall one and the. So my my favorite matches were the first night of the tour, where you see me fucking falling off the hill. <laughs> That's the first <laughs> clip I saw. I'm yes, like, I like how's be how's baseball do it in in Japan. I just bah, see bah, 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 bah. tumbling down a grassy hill. So I was just like, what what is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, that match, uh, my match with Ishikawa, my match with Dale. Um, the last match in Hokkaido, in, in Hokkaido, uh, we did an eight man, uh, it was pretty cool. And then the eight man we did in, uh, Corrigan Hall, which was awesome. That's and, great. Yeah. It was, then that was fucking awesome. Um, I, I, you know, obviously there's probably a little bit of a culture shock going, you know, he's like coming back, but going really? out there and everything, <laughs> what was the wildest thing outside of wrestling you ran into over there? Uh, the what? So last day of the tour, well, last day. Okay, so I'm leaving to head to the airport. Like well, I had to be at the airport by like five o'clock. Mm-hmm. I had a seven o'clock flight back here. My wife texts me. I want bread. I want bread. <laughs> I want this random bread. This is Japanese bread. This random Japanese bread. So 
I'm oh like Seven Eleven has this like ram ass bread, so okay, we're nowhere near. Yeah, Seven Eleven's crazy over there. Yes. Like it was all over Thailand too. Oh my god, yeah. it's like it's literally the it's like sheets on steroids. Over yeah, there, so, except they mm. don't have MTO over. Yeah, no. So like I'm like so. Last day, I went and bought souvenirs and all that shit for everybody because like it's that way it's just easier for me to haul back and mm-hmm. everything. So I'm literally at, at um. There's this one store called Don Quixote, which is basically like our version of Walmart, their mm-hmm. version of Walmart. So I'm like going by and all, and she's she sends me in. in I don't have the emoji, but I don't have the, the text, but it said bread, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. So I get mm-hmm. like a couple of things of bread to put in, and then we go to the tax do the tax free section because you can buy shit tax free over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a visa. And they smashed the bread. I had to go back and go get more bread. I did it twice. Yeah. Yeah. And I wouldn't say it was crazy, but it was definitely like a, like just a uh, moment. Uh, <laughs> crazy things I saw. One was definitely a lot of mascots mm-hmm. out there. Like, there, yeah, there's like a lot of like, a lot of stores had mascots. They were like outside walking around, handing out flyers and stuff. Got huh. to meet a, there, uh, so I met a, over there and there's bar like there's bars over there where uh people like there's ladies outside like hand out flyers and stuff like they're prostitutes but they're not it's like basically oh hey come and hang out with me i don't want to i'll i'll pretend like i want to fuck you but i don't want to fuck you okay type thing i think they're love houses or something yes, love houses yeah. and it's basically like a bar you got like they you, they uh they will like you know they'll let your cigarette for you they'll pour mm. your drink for you they make you feel like flirt with you I basically it's like a strip club without the titties popping out yeah so that was kind of interesting I mean I didn't really see like a whole lot of like crazy shit like you think you see because like most of the time I'm literally on a bus or in a hotel yeah going and I really only had me like three days in uh in the like in the cut like into Tokyo and that part like Shibuya and all that stuff I didn't really get to really expand out uh mm. hmm. Okay, here's the story. Uh, me, Dale, Pondo, and Seozawa. What are you laughing at? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Right, time out. Says I wanted a melon pan. He brought me smash loaf of white bread. <laughs> <laughs> Please ask him how much is toast <laughs> from ooh, ooh. from uh, 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 Ryan Edmonds. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Enough for me to shut the fuck up, apparently, Ryan, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're all... Me, which those? Oh, so it's me, Dale, Pondo, Seizawa, who designs, like, all the shirts, like, for, like, all the deathmatch guys mm-hmm. over there. We're at Denny's, and we're having beer. They sell beer <laughs> at Denny's in Japan. It's great. I have to use the toilet. So, mm-hmm. I ask, I ask Pond, I ask, I ask, hey, what is the Japanese word for toilet? And hold on a second here. I got to pull it up real quick. I got to remember the word. Um, while that's going on, tell us what's going on in the chat, Sorg. I am telling you what's going on in the chat. Dude. <laughs> We're just still talking about toast, apparently. Um, Japanese word for toilet? Yes. Nope, that's just the Japanese. I can't pronounce that. Okay. <laughs> so say gives me a word, so mm-hmm. I go up and I say, uh, I say the word, and they're fucking laughing, and Lay's looking at me like fucking I'm crazy. She's mm-hmm. like, huh? <laughs> and then, not knowing, they said they told me jack off in Japanese, mm-hmm. <laughs> and like everybody in the restaurant's laughing, even the fucking cooks. Mm-hmm. So I'm, <laughs> so Pondo's like, Wes, Wes, shut up and go it's straight back that way, as Pondo would say. <laughs> His Kentucky accent. <laughs> I, it, 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 this dawns on me. This actually dawns on me a little bit this weekend because Pondo was at your show Sunday yeah. and, and, and in the meeting and talking and stuff. And I'm just like, he is the most like Kentucky guy, and he just rolls into Japan. Yeah, is got it's so wild. Mm-hmm. Like, so I really don't have like a lot of like. I know everybody's expecting like crazy stories about the rats and all this. There wasn't any. I literally was on a bus, went to the hotel, back on the mm-hmm. bus to the show, back on the bus. They don't let you get in trouble over there. No. no. Um, Sapporo for my birthday. Mm. Okay. Everybody. Okay. okay. My I'm celebrating my 38th birthday in Japan. I just main evented the show on my birthday. 
it was fucking awesome. Like Pondo and Dale and Redacted came out, gave me a cake. Everybody say happy birthday to me. I'm bloody. I'm eating the cake. We get out of the apron and this little fucking and this kid just comes up and starts eating the cake with me. I have blood on my fucking face and there's blood on the cake. So if he gets hepatitis C, it's not my fault. So <laughs> that was fucking interesting. Um, we go to Sapporo. Everybody's saying, oh, we're going to go out and have a good time. Well, you know what we did? We went to uh, went to a steakhouse mm-hmm. and then we went bowling. That was my birthday. Nice. In Japan. Just like being back home. It was, but you know what? I got to celebrate with awesome people. Yes. So, like, celebrating with Dale, celebrating with Pondo, celebrating with Kamatani, mm. um, celebrating with Shetty and Jordan, and uh, Jordan's from uh, New Zealand. He's one of the he was one of the guys jeans over there. On a, he was there for three months. Like they would bring, so they bring guys over every three months to like help like in the dojo. They stay in the dojo, mm-hmm. dojo tour with them, which is awesome. Um. Shreddy's from the UK. Shreddy's awesome. <laughs> Ready, Shreddy, go. Love Adam. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Miyamoto, like, like redacted his girl. Like, they all came out. It was a fun time. Like, it, 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 it was just cool to be able to do that for my birthday in another country, you know? That's awesome. Now, I will say, I did pull off the greatest bowling, bowling trick shot ever by accident. Okay. Uh, so... And Pondo still fucking can't believe I did this. So up on the lane, I go to the shoot. My foot gets caught, like, on, sticks on the approach. So my ball, I throw my ball, and the ball literally goes in together in the other lane. Okay? Mm-hmm. Bounces out, rolls down, I get a strike on the opposite lane. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, like, it, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Yeah. Pondo yeah. is just like, how 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 is that possible as i'm sorry pondo i know it's a terrible impression it's just how i talk when i talk to people when i tell stories so you know this it's, um, a, it's a west virginia filter of a pondo impression I yes, guess. yes 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 it is um so uh <laughs> so uh, a lot of fun over there um so and again people can see uh your matches on bg bjw core you gonna ask me about there. the steak? I'm waiting for that one. Uh, no, actually, no. There was a question. Don't forget the bloody bones. The bloody bones. Who was that from? From uh, Mrs. B. Smith. Oh, oh, I know what she's talking about. <laughs> okay, so I'm over there. So people are buying the bone keychains. Yeah. And they're handing me. They're like, um, they hand it to me, and they're like pointing at my head. I'm like, what? And they're like, <laughs> blood. I'm like, so I took. So they wanted me to put my blood on the fucking bone. Mm-hmm. We give to them. So I'm like, and like, here you go. And people were posting on Facebook. Like, someone posted on Twitter about it. Like, so happy to have this shit. Like, it's fucking insane. This, this shit they love over there. I love it. So it's, you're just like canning your DNA out the fans. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere, if somebody wants to grow a beast man over there, <laughs> a Japanese beast man, they to can grow, do it. They have, grow a beast yes, man. they have my blood. Well, um, so much to talk about. Like I say, you, you were saying you've, you've done so much since you come back, but I also want to talk about what's going on uh, uh, even with your own promotion because oh, you seem to be to one of the about. wild, wild times that we have there. I brought, I brought the wild and wonderful from Japan to oh West my Virginia. Oh, God. Jeez, you did this time. <laughs> uh, scaring children and and uh, having cameramen lo- alike. And having lost children found in our venues. <laughs> oh, my so. God. We, <laughs> we should, you know, we should hold on to that for Patreon if you don't mind stick around until after <laughs> i will stick around so <laughs> we'll talk about lost children on patreon riz make sure we remember that mm-hmm. and uh but in the meantime you can check out everything even with what we're about to talk about with vcw's road to victory um with, and we'll get to that in a moment over at indie wrestling.us the live is already up we'll have the final uh version of it here on vod and everything in the next day or so um, okay, of course, um, RWA's Renegade Rumble, which involved our own Mac Carlin somehow. Which you and if yeah, you're on did, the video you, version of this that, show, uh, you're gonna see what happened at RWA, and we have special. Uh, we're gonna debut some special footage of the aftermath of what happened to Mac Carlin's in the Renegade Rumble on the video version of this show. Little. I haven't heard from him yet, so like I'm a little bit concerned about this. Is he alive? So I, we'll we'll find out. Um, but uh, but we we do have. Uh, some some footage that was submitted again we'll have that on the video version again of this show. is the second this is the second time that one of your camera people 
was is involved in a wrestling match. Sure. Well, no, this is like the third time at third RWA time at that RWA. somebody was involved or assaulted during a a wrestling match at RWA. So this has become uh, kind of a thing. This um, is why we need to unionize. Of course, any wrestling yeah. <laughs> unionize. Against me or against our? I don't know. We'll we'll talk about it. Um, case Jesse Ventura. Um, anyways, so so we have that going on again. You can go for free over on the YouTube and or over on the network. Uh, you can see 880 Wrestling, David Lawless and Reese Hayes in the the 60 minute Iron Man match with one of the most impossible finishes I could have ever imagined uh, 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 happening there. So go check that out as well. APWF's Uncharted Waters is also up for free on the YouTube and the uh, on the network for you to watch, including, as we mentioned, Bill Collier and uh, Spencer mm-hmm. Slade and NWA, NWA's own Spencer Slade uh, in the main event there and a lot of other great uh, stars as well of um, that, we, that we're familiar with here in the Pittsburgh area. Some good wrestling coming out of Central PA, uh, new, new region uh, as on our network. Of course, Neo Pro, uh, their latest show on there, the Gold Rush Royale featuring Rhino uh, and so much more. Uh, and again, also, I've so much happened. I forgot Swoggle was on RWA. <laughs> so yes. uh, go check that out. That was a fun match. A lot of clips are on our social media from that as well. Go check it out. IndieWrestling.us. Like I mentioned, one thing on IndieWrestling.us is VCW show from this past Sunday. Sunday Road to Victory, which <laughs> involved the 30... What was it? Thirty some minute last monster standing match yep. with the Beast Man and Congo Kong, amongst other calamities. Gory and Pondo, Super Opera as part of the uh, fans bring the weapons match. Um, there was a TLC match in there, and possibly too. Uh, Why well, the table was mostly broke this time that I'm aware of. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't have that, but a wedgie was had. Wedgies are always knee and had. Yes. So, um, so, so obviously, you know, you guys are on a little bit of a hiatus now. You got a, you got a trophy Thank show God. coming on. <laughs> we need one. We need a break. You need a refresher sometimes. Yes, we Listen, do. I've seen a lot of promoters, promoters get burnt out, you know, and just like, hey, maybe you can pull back a little bit, do less shows, space them out a little bit more. And uh, you're, you're other than you're doing a bar show here in in November, but uh, like mainly you're not going back home until uh february at this point right that is currently somewhat the plan right now so is that so we can hopefully clean up by then everything that happened on sunday yes i got a lot of litigation clean up you know i got a lot of litigation my, yes yes gotta have my attorneys take care of those papers those papers didn't get signed yeah bradley you gotta take care of bradley make sure he doesn't sue me and all okay that shit. Yeah. So, okay now you know uh i wanted to there was a lot on Sunday. I'm there not was out. a lot. There was a shit ton. But you know what? I wanted to go out with a fucking bang, and goddamn, we went out with a fucking bang. It so. does seem to happen. Like I feel like I feel like like twice a year, like we just have these. I don't. I, I quote unquote overbook shows uh, <laughs> that just have absolute madness going on. I know. Uh, uh, we had Glenn Spector on the show a couple of times here, and I remember he, you know, he he started off like as you know in the audience, and I think it was the day where there was the evening gown match with uh, two mountain men, uh, a mime, and a pirate. Yes, and like I'm <laughs> like, you can't write this shit. It's just the people that were available, and here's the match, right? Like things like that happening, like like it's so wildly impossible and then you do have things like you do have pondo and shadow coming in and doing these crazy matches um and doing things that you don't really know about before they go out yep. like hey why does pondo have a light tube should i know about this you know it's kind of situation i, know, I know we were i know we were talking about it. i was like like pondo's pondo pondo does what he wants what's about to happen oh shit i'm in west virginia so literally anything uh i love how you sell that story that's great selling (laughs) like welcome to west virginia where literally everything that should and shouldn't will probably happen yep Uh, so welcome to vcw You know, you need a tagline like that. You know, uh, uh, it's you know, you have the House of the Renegades. You have the last Wild West of professional wrestling at RWA. They have a great, great bit of monikers over there. Like, what, what is you know, maybe there's something we work on for February. What is the big tagline to get people to VCW? Um, you're in danger, or expect the wild and vicious expect the unexpected unexpected. yes absolutely yeah so here's what i'll bring this point up real fast and um obviously yeah we're gonna take a small hiatus for the rest of the year because i don't know like 
One thing is, I don't know what's going on with Japan. Mm. That might be going into a full time thing. I don't know. I hope it does. If not, it's okay. Um, but like, I got so much going on as on the wrestling side of things myself. I gotta like put my priorities in order. Like, there's a lot of stuff at home. I'm getting ready to do coming up that I'm not ready to discuss yet. Mm. Uh, don't worry, everybody. We're working on it too. So if anybody wants to know, there's no baby beastman on the way yet. No, uh, we're working on it. So uh, the <laughs> she's gonna fucking kill me when I get home tonight. I know mm-hmm. it. So <laughs> wait, till, uh, wait till I put the clips on social media. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> no, like uh, just a lot of stuff going on. Personal lives sometimes you yeah, gotta put wrestling aside. Yeah, absolutely. Bit, you know. So I had to put like we had. So uh, you see me how I was back in May. Mm-hmm. I was a miserable fucking prick when it came to this shit. I was mm-hmm. stressed out. You know, mm-hmm. we almost, I, I'm not ashamed to say it. You know, we, I was maybe an hour away from shutting the doors down for good. Mm-hmm. Did not care. Just because of everything going on, like everything that was going on. But we regrouped and we came back, the la- we came back better, in my opinion. We came back better. We, we put on our end game the last two shows. We almost packed out mm-hmm. the fucking, we almost packed out Bishop on Sunday. We were close. Mm-hmm. February, I'm hoping to pack it out, and we're mm-hmm. gonna keep it going. You know, I have people a, wanting more. That's for sure. That's definitely what we're trying to do. And like, so Sunday, yeah, we had a big show. Mm-hmm. We had everything under the sun plus the kitchen sink. But you know what? Mm-hmm. All we've got is positive feedback. Me, one or two people ain't too happy with how the thing went. Me, one a little too <laughs> long. You know, mm-hmm. that's just how people want to bitch. I don't care. Hey, you know it's it's a moving target. You it know, is to you do live, do a live show. You can't please everybody. Sort <laughs> there, you know there's this. a great there's a great tweet that Effie put out the other day. It was like, oh, are you mad because the uh uh what was it? the orchestrated um stunt show that we put together in uh, two hours didn't go in completely to plan? You know, it's like yeah, it, yeah. It's just and, and on top of the you know uh uh, uh you know people late car problems etc cetera, etc cetera. other other like outside factors you know uh that happens that happens at these shows mm-hmm. you know it's like no it's not like that's really weird why do they have this person come out instead of what was advertised well there was probably a reason hard subject <laughs> to change hard and subject to change shit can happen but you, you know? know what i feel like it ended up being better than what it absolutely was. so much that you literally took the house down here um at a certain point yep. um oh yeah by the way like that was we only had one speaker for the rest of the show if i, I was not gonna mistaken. say I, I didn't realize it was yeah a, yeah oh there goes the it. set oh there goes the set oh look there there's amen yeah, there's, there's amen and there's my hand in the background there you go <laughs> there you go oh look, there's merlin hello hello uh, yeah i actually hadn't seen how this looked on the other side because i was too busy wondering what was happening on my side of things so looks, looks pretty fucking good to me so yeah <laughs> so there you go there's uh the part where you just took down the entire but that, set but think about that though how often do you see that fucking happen to shows no no not, not, I, not I I will I've been going to shows since 2006 mm-hmm. never happened you know what it's <laughs> that's why I say expect the unexpected we wanted to, like you had Four, literally four hardcore matches on the show. Yeah, yeah you did. Fans bring the weapons. And they're like nine matches. Yes, nine matches. But uh, but uh, like I said, the other, like I said this morning, you know, every match I watched the show back, every match was different. Mm-hmm. There was nothing same. There nothing was same. Nothing was the same thing. That's true. Yeah, like two of the matches went outside the ring and shit. Like went outside into the crowd, but it, they we did different things. You know, mm-hmm. it wasn't the same <laughs> shit. No, oh, absolutely. So, uh, and even even Gory kind of stepping in on the on the Pondo match. Uh, I still want to see Pondo and Supobra someday in the future, though. It will <laughs> happen. You got that. 2025, that match will definitely happen. We're well, so. not done with that. I'm not Definitely not done with that. That's good to see there. Um, I got to get some more chairs, though. And, 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 and the worst looking thing that happened, other than Wedgie, uh, was was an accidental thing. I know I know. Oprah took uh, some barbed wire to the to the to the arm by accident and we got a close up of that damn thing. Yeah. It was terrible. It was terrible. Just, just to let you know, I just let everybody know, I did talk to Super Oprah on mm-hmm. the way to the show, mm-hmm. on the way here tonight. She did tell me that she did put a maxi pad on the cut and everything's gonna be okay. Oh good. Oh good. That's good good to know. Yes. That's good to know. Um so but it was a <laughs> that was a heck of a thing too. Um so 
uh, yeah, it was a big blow off. You, you, you got new champions in the tag team champions. Saturday Night Special. We'll have to have we them de- on in the near future too. We definitely got to invest in a GoFundMe for uh, Super Open to get new fucking tights. Yeah, yeah. All the they're, they're, starting, they're starting to expose a little bit, aren't they? So uh, looks like there's um, a bullfrog in there. <laughs> I can hear it rivet right now. Wow. So, I mean, I, I, I feel like, um, you know, you when you start a VCW, maybe you said it on this show, maybe it was somewhere else, maybe in our conversations, but you wanted to kind of, uh, you know, there was definitely a bit of a show people how a show runs, uh, a kind of vibe to things. Uh, do you feel like you've accomplished that over the last couple of years of this? I mean, you'll be, uh, it, what's your, is this going to be your third anniversary coming up in February? Fourth. Fourth anniversary? Yeah. Really? Well, let's see, going on our fourth year, so... Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. So... Uh, so I feel like I've showed people how it's done. I've not. You know, I, I, I knew going in this was going to be a uh, trenu- uh, okay. tenuous process mm-hmm. with things. Like, I'm still learning. Mm-hmm. You know, not every show is going to go off, like you said, according to plan. Not everybody's mm-hmm. going to be happy. You know, sometimes we're going to have good shows. We've had good shows. We have awesome shows. We've had bad shows. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm still learning this shit. You know what I mean? Like it's a different process every day. What can I do to make ECW better? Who can I bring in that the crowd will like? I listen to everybody's opinions when it comes to bringing people in. What angle? Like what? What batches people want to see? You know, and it's it's hard. It really is because like mm-hmm. I got a list of guys that I want to bring in. Like for like all the way from California, the the UK, fucking Japan. I want to come over here to work VCW in Pittsburgh area. And I'm, mm-hmm. It's hard to put that. It's a long list. And trust me, if I could afford and book everybody, I would. But you only work with what you're given. And I'll tell you what, right now, I got the roster we have at this current moment. It's the best roster we've had. Mm -hmm. And I will put it up against any roster in indie wrestling today that will put on a good show. Uh, You know, I I think it's always interesting to see who uh, uh, arises the occasion on, on, you know, given a new platform like, you know, that's going on with this. Um, you know, who, who do you think has stepped up in the last, uh, three, four ish years of VCW that, that really surprised you. It became kind of a mainstay there that, that, that maybe you didn't expect in the beginning. Keith hot first part. Oh first yeah. Person. Keith hot has been my, uh, he's been my ace in the hole when something he's done. He's my fucking, uh, he's my go-to guy. He's my, uh, good hand. Mm-hmm. Anything mm-hmm. I ask him to do, he doesn't no problem at all. Yeah. Um, yeah. mad dog Myers. Has definitely stepped up his game the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. And see, yeah, yeah, he has got confidence now, and it's scary confidence of how good he is. A lot of people write him out. You know, for those that write him out, you're stupid as fuck. Mm-hmm. Telling you that right now, he is definitely going to be something here in the next two to three years. Mm-hmm. And he, you know, I see a lot of me in him when I first started coming around. None of you, a lot of these motherfuckers are definitely watching the show right now. Had no faith in me. Didn't mm-hmm. think I was shit. Didn't think, wouldn't even give me the opportunity of the day. Mm-hmm. Now, you guys are the ones that are calling me, so which is nice, <laughs> but it's going to happen to him here in a couple, it's going to happen to Zach here in a couple years. I'm telling you, he's mm-hmm. the, he's going to be something. You know, I see it now. There's a lot of people that I use, Jamie Jameson, even though he's a fucking cocksucker, for <laughs> knocking me in the head the other day. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see here, who else? Like, lo- when it comes to local talent, uh, Mad Dog Myers, Wayward Sons have stepped up their game in the last couple months. Mm-hmm. You know, they've mm-hmm. really put on a hell of, like, them and Saturday Night Special put on a hell of a TLC match on fucking, uh, on Sunday. And I'm going to give Mark and Dee their props. They stepped up their game as well. Those guys have been really established tag team since they first came in. Cowpoke Paul, my champion. What more can I say about him? There ain't really much to say. He's like, it's Cowpoke Paul. He's <laughs> definitely, he's going to be something in the next couple years. Um, when it comes to local talent, other than Keith, Nathan has stepped mm-hmm. his game up. Orch, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's more dangerous now than he's been the last couple, last three years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Clayton King. New guy on the scene. New guy on yep. the scene, Clayton yep. King. Uh, one of my students, happy to call him one of my students. Uh, didn't like what he did to me on Sunday, mm-hmm. but he'll get his coming soon. Um, he's he has been somebody that has been very passionate about the business since the first day he came in and started training with me. Mm. And he's the only guy I know, like you guys know me, I like to fuck around and have a good time, but be serious, you know? 
he's the only one that ever got in my face that I want to fucking be good. Teach me how to be good. Shut the fuck up, quit goofing off, and show me how to be good. <laughs> it took a lot of fucking balls yeah. to do that. Yeah. And you know what? He he's always had my respect, but when it comes to stepping up his game, like he's only had a couple matches and he's gonna start branching out soon. Mm-hmm. And I just keep an eye on him. Um my two kids, Lumberjack Larson and the white trash luchador, whose tag team name I've always fucked up fifty thousand times, so I call them the white trash luchadors. Um, oh, it's West, yeah, I know it's West Virginia something. Yeah, I know. Sorry guys. i one day I'll get your tag names right, but Brandon and Michael, those are my go to guys when it comes to mm-hmm. Getting shit done. I give them a lot of shit for some of the shit they do, but they get the shit. They get the job done. They just need mm-hmm. more reps. You know, there's a there's a promotion in Bridgeport, Ohio, that uh, they've been going to that uh, they like where Andre has been uh, fighting Tornado, good friend of a good friend of mine. Mm-hmm. He's been letting them come down and get reps with them and working good. with them, putting them good. on the show. So good. they're getting the reps. They just need to get good. out more. And that's yeah. the biggest thing. They need to get out more. Yeah, I mean, you guys only run so many times a year at this point, yeah. so like it's it's kind of hard with that, you know. But uh, but but there's plenty of opportunity around here, be up in Pittsburgh, over in Ohio, and everything oh, yeah. like that. Down 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 further down West Virginia, I know there's a lot of promotions going on. So and it's not like I don't have like a good rapport with like all. The, it's not like I have a bad rapport with all the companies around yeah, here. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm pretty I'm pretty much a good standing. If like if most of the time they call me for a favor to get somebody, mm-hmm. I'm not afraid to say it. You know. Yeah. yeah. So I. When that day comes when I need a fair from them, hopefully Marshall, Derek, Quinn, Gene, because I know you're watching right now. Uh, <laughs> hopefully they can give me, hopefully they can help out and get my boys work. But that's the thing though. Like I'm not afraid of, it's like a give or take in pro wrestling, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of guys like, okay, we got a lot of training. School. We got a few training schools around here. A uh, rise, um, you know, uh, IWC and a lot of the guys need work. Mm-hmm. You know, I've never been af- I've never been afraid to give a guy- someone an opportunity because like when I like when I started out, I had to bust my ass just to get a fucking opportunity somewhere. Yeah. You yeah. know, a lot of the kids come down, they help set up, they help tear down. Hey, that's how fucking cowpoke got started. That's how uh, who else? Um, SNS, that's how they got started. They came mm-hmm. down and helped tear it up. Uh, uh, Pastor Silo. Haven't used Pastor and haven't used Silo in a minute. But he's doing a lot of stuff. He he's is. doing some he's great busy. stuff with Exodus. I he's saw busy. he's got a belt somewhere. Um, he's getting, he's collect, making collections yeah. with Neo Pro. Uh, so well, they go, he made like 30 bucks a ringside last time. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. That's a better pay than a lot of guys. I get, know, so. right? Like, good for him, man. Uh, no, and he's been doing a lot of stuff with Pretty Boy Smooth up there at NWA Exodus as well, getting a lot of exposure. I know he's a part of the big show we did a couple weeks ago with them on the uh, NWA page and everything like that. Yep. So, like, no, it, it, everybody, everybody's getting out there, getting opportunities. It's really cool to see. A lot of people are getting, the, no, they're getting their payoffs these it, days. It's, yeah. it's, wrestling's a better place now than when I first started when it comes to, like, sure. everybody helping people out. And I think it's, it, it's a sure. great thing, you know? Hmm? Um. It, 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 it's just getting to the point now where it's starting to become it's too much. <laughs> and what I mean by too much, but in a like, good way, in a good way. Yeah, but, in but a good to manage way. it, I understand. Yeah, and there's only so many spots to fill a place. Like, trust me, like Absolutely. I said earlier, I would, if I can, if I can have fifty pre, like ten or twelve pre matches a show every show, which would be too fucking much now, which mm-hmm. we already have. But if we could do it, awesome, just to be able to get people a look. Mm-hmm. You know, I had a guy come up to me in Virginia um, two months ago. He asked me, just in general, what can I do to get to the level you're at? Mm-hmm. To me, I'm a humble guy. I don't ever claim to be on any level at all whatsoever. I don't look down on anybody. I don't look above people. That's not who I was. That's not how I was brought up. That's not how I, how I treat people in general. Yeah. You know? So the, the best advice I gave him was just, like, you got to let the opportunity come to you. Yeah. You, see. That's the, like, you can yeah. do all the things in the world, but the one, once the one person sees you, you're off to the moon, and that's Absolutely. what happened to me. That's the biggest thing. You know, you never know, especially we're live streaming things on the pre-shows, things like that. You yep. never know who's watching. We know a lot of eyeballs are on what we're putting out there on YouTube. You know, and maybe if the numbers don't look like they're crazy in the thousands or whatever, you never. You only need to take one person that sees your stuff. You'll be really surprised. Here's a who may a have. prime example. I got booked. Uh, me and Lee when before Lee got signed, we got booked. Lee Moriarty. Yes, Lee yeah. Moriarty. I always call him uh, or Julian. What? <laughs> <laughs> So, okay. Um, 
No, Lee, like Lee and I got booked in this like in Vegas for this like two day uh, round, like this two day tournament, and yeah. which had EC3, Davari, Hammerstone, and all these guys. For a guy out in the UK, I saw me and Rhino. Saw my match with Rhino. That's how I got booked out there. Mm-hmm. Um, my match with Hammerstone. Uh, the guys from MLW saw that. That's how I got signed MLW. That match there. So mm-hmm. it's just like one thing leads to another. Yep. You no. Know? Yep. My match with um, my match with fucking Mike Bennett. Mm-hmm. Um, that match got seen by one of the guys at GCW. Mm-hmm. That's how I got my opportunity at JCW, J- GCW. So still one of my favorite Beastman matches because you and Mike that's, Bennett. That's my all time favorite match. That was that was Forbidden Door Afternoon across from the United Center. Every year mm-hmm. he's done this now for the last two years. Every year on the day that matches happen, he always reposts that match. So. I love Mike Bennett for that. Mm-hmm. Makes me, I mean, it, it's cool to for guys like him, for a guy like yeah. me to see him yeah. do that. Especially like when we grow, like growing up, like getting in the business, he's one of the guys like what, like I watch. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's cool. It's really That's cool. Awesome. That's awesome. Beastman's with us here, VCW, and also his lead stint. Big Japan Wrestling. Check it out, BJ, BJWCore.com. When we go to break, yes, can you pull that match up? Because I want to watch that match. Which, <laughs> the one that you pulled, that eight-man tag. That so. eight-man tag. I don't know. I have to go find it again. Um, but uh, it, it, it's, it's on your account. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it again. Anyways, but we are going to go. Uh, you guys are going to find out what happened at uh, RWA this past weekend. I can't wait and we hear. can find out what happened to Matt Carlin's. You're going to see this on the video version of the show. Where, where is Jim LaMotta right now? Where is Jim LaMotta? He wait. was in one of the chats earlier. So, mm. you know. <laughs> I got a name. Jim paid me 50 bucks to name drop him. So, Jim LaMotta. All right. There you go. There you go. That's the only way he's getting on the show lately, right? So, Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to see what's going on with that. And then uh, we'll be right back in a few minutes here. Uh, we're going to see. Uh, I think there's a AEW show again this is, weekend. Is the, is the taco stand open across the street? I'm pretty sure it's closed by now. <laughs> Fuck. It's all, all right. right. Sorry. I don't it's think all right. I'll, I'll just eat some slice on Broadway. There so. you go. There you go. We'll be right back in a couple minutes after right. this. The cameraman. What? What? Matt Carlin's the cameraman. What? Entry 19. Matt. Not Matt. <laughs> Unbelievable. Matt Carlins has to take part in the Renegade Rumble? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, take off your headphones, buddy. So no, we, he's going to keep his headphones on. That's a good... It, I would take a legal object. I'd it, take anything. If the guy... Please, wait. What the hell is this? Wait, Crash Jackson's going to... Wait, did Crash get eliminated? I think Crash I'm, did. I'm so confused what's going on. There's so much going on here. If you're watching on IndieWrestling.us. Five, four, Matt Carlin is our cameraman. Two, one, He's getting the crap beat out of him. Oh! He, wait a minute! He eliminated Malachi Gage! Matt Carlin's eliminated Malachi Gage! Oh. Way to go, Matt! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, wait. Lucio DeVere back here in RWA. Carlin's just got eliminated. That's by right. Malachi Gage. I mean, <laughs> anything can happen in RWA. Oh, C- Carlin's being chased out the building here by Gage.
Hi, Naaman. I'm Merlin. And we're a gay. And his NB. Are you a reality television connoisseur? Do you like to discuss from an LGBTQ lens? If so, a gay and his NB is the podcast for you. Hear us break down all your favorite guilty pleasure reality shows from Bravo, Drag Race, and just about everything in between. Listen to a gay and his NB on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. are back wrestling mayhem show the riz is still here i'm here and i was talking about my fantasy football team oh yes yes fantasy well <laughs> beast man is still here making noises i'll wait for him to settle in there and get I'm some headsets on. there you go he's he's, he's uh taking care he's in the catering right now uh the mayhem show catering thanks to our friends at slice on broadway okay, we'll mention the, sword, the hair flip the hair flip what what's it you, you got the, the hair, hair flip, flip? <laughs> There was a there was a heated moment this weekend during intermission where we were we, we were really mad about something and I come in and I see the beast man ready to go for for his match and I said your hair looks nice mm-hmm. <laughs> your, your, your hair looks nice by the way um yeah I just I just cracked the white claw because that's where we're at with life right now uh anyways uh speaking of uh things we don't have enough time for AEW has a pay per view this weekend. Then I'll be watching on tape delay because I'll be in uh, Erie for revenge, not revenge. Big, Big Bleak Pro, yeah. <laughs> Whatever's going on there, um, but uh, the, there is an AEW show this weekend. We do have a week in between, which is kind of nice. They could actually build some stuff. Uh, uh, he- presumably headlined by Brian Danielson and Jack Perry for the AEW Championship. Riz, your cake, hot take, go. I yeah, I mean. Yeah, that seems like that does seem like a little bit of a nothing match. Like, but, it, uh, it, it 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 is. A, yeah, I, I'm. No, no, no. Well, I already paid for the pay per view in a bundle, so I don't have a choice. So. You don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. I'm going to be watching it. Will Osprey is defending the. Uh, I think we're back to the international championship. I don't know. The graphics really small against Pac. I'm here for that match. Question. Yes. Did they just not have a pay per view not too long ago? Or are they going like, like, like yeah, like a week ago, like all in was, last week, was, was, two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah. So uh, this last year, this was the next weekend, and they're actually giving a little bit of a gap. So presumably because um, <laughs> WWE just took over Labor Day weekend with two pay per views in two different countries. So uh this was just made on collision i believe with a four-way uh mercedes monet uh the tbs championship against uh defending against um sheeta i'm here for it i'm here for it uh steel cage match uh adam page and uh, swerve strickland question of the week who is more angsty adam page or drew mcintyre no, the answer is Drew McIntyre. Yes, you you sure about that? You sure yes. about that? I, I like, like Adam Page I'm, has Ad, a lot Adam of Page, angst. Adam Page has a reason to be angst. Okay, angsty or whatever your whatever the word you said was. Yes, uh, because we broke into his house, mm-hmm. and like, yeah, no, we're f- and. And Drew is angsty over a title mat, a, a, a title, and CM Punk's bracelet. You know, he's angsty over the existence of CM Punk. More was where this started, and then it's escalated, right? But still, there were no break-ins. Okay, okay, no, no home, home, uh, home. Larry, is what you're Larry's life is not in danger this time. Not anymore. Not anymore. Taken care yeah. of. If you will, Ace okay. Steel has Ace Steel's fine. 
Ace Steel is okay and has not bitten anybody lately. Okay, MJF oh, yeah. and Danny Garcia. Daniel? Daniel Garcia? Daniel. Daniel. Yeah, I mean, that, that shit's going to be good. Okay. Willow. Like, oh, good. I'm, I'm just going to say, like, I... I like the I I like Danny Garcia, mm-hmm. and MJF you know is MJF and he's gonna probably do some MJF shit. But I, yeah. I like I, I like how I like Danny Garcia as how he's actually you know getting a spot. And they yes. said they said watch out for Danny Garcia this year where when they were uh, at the beginning of the year for uh, World's End. So Chicago Street Fight Willow and Chris Statlander. I just want to see uh, Stoke. Yes, see what Stoke does. He is yeah. he is on the poster for this. He she is not. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he she. Like, why? Why? I I sure hope not. I mean, Ishii was there on Saturday because I I love I like the I, I know some people don't like the combination of Ishi and uh, and Willow, but. Remind me to tell you about my Ishi moment from Friday <laughs> when oh, I ran no. it, when I literally almost ran it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I had a moment. I had several moments, but you know, we'll talk about it on Patreon. Anyways, um, and then, yeah, that's it. We have eight matches. Um, I wow, feel like Chris Jericho's not on this card. Chris Jericho is not on this card yet. Um, uh, 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 I, I imagine we're going to get Jamie Hader and and uh, and uh, whatever Paige is called these days, Surya. Um, you know, I imagine we'll get a Mariah May uh, title defense of some sort. I think she's defending the belt, God, on Wednesday against somebody that I was excited to see um, that I can't recall right now. But uh, no, I think they'll round the they'll round the car out this week, the card out this week, and I think it'll be uh, pretty decent. Uh, it is going to take place again again in Chicago, Illinois. Who just that's not going to be that's eight, not going to. Hmm? That's not going to be any uh, chaos there, right? Any chaos? Fans are the fans are going to be, you know, just fine, right? I think they just got their CM Punk fix a couple weeks ago, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. So <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's been a lot of um, like they're following each other in different places. Like SmackDown was DC, and then New Japan mm-hmm. was in DC the next week, the next Friday. Um, I feel like I saw like didn't it wasn't WWE just in no it was or uh, AEW was just maybe in a uh, 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 Denver Colorado or something mm-hmm. and then you know like I feel like there's a lot of back to back within weeks happening here. It's still the two Chicago, sort. What's that? It's still Chicago. Well, I, I, well, in AEW was just in Champaign, Illinois, which I think is just right up the street. Basically, so um, you know, I, I I don't know, I don't know what's going on with that. But also, like AEW lived in Texas for a month, so you know, it is what it is. So AEW all out uh, this Saturday pay per view uh, as well. So uh, that'll be interesting uh, to see what happens there. I'll be looking forward to watching that with my uh, mm-hmm. with my Cheerios on Sunday morning. <laughs> so when I when I'm recovering from a trip back from Erie <laughs> and whatever Big League Pro has in store for me. And I've definitely not digested what that card is yet. So, uh, anyways, uh, that one will not be live. That's a live to tape, and that will be on uh, IndieWrestling.us uh, next week for the Big League, uh, Big League Pros kickoff show. I believe is happening. We'll check that at the end of the show here. But anyways, um, let's give a shout out since uh, our guest is definitely munching it on our couch. We'll just have you. There you go. And then there's our ad. Slice on Broadway, New York City style. Yin's Your Maid does not have health code violations in Beachview and has several locations that also do not have health code violations. Uh, SliceOnBroadway.com. Uh, doing better than the taco stand. I am having a pizza party tomorrow night at my house, which will be Slice on Broadway. There so. you go. There, there you, you go. go. Multiple locations all over the city of Pittsburgh. I uh, did go I did go to the, the one in Carnegie. Okay. And- I'm just gonna go up here a little bit, uh, and so above, um, above the third, please. The the one was it in Carnegie, yeah, the one in Carnegie, uh, and that one had a nice little TV there, and it was playing uh, one of the Fast Fear the Fast movies. <laughs> okay, and I just started watching it, and I waiting for my food to get 
food coming through. It's usually okay. the news when I'm in picking up for the for the show. So yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, so no, they took care of us. Uh, we, we we grabbed them for uh, well, the, the pay per view, the all in pay per view when everybody was over too. Uh, so mm-hmm. that was good. <laughs> I love I love they know us so well. I leave the door open, and usually we're in the back room here in the studio. They just walk all the way into the studio and find us in the back with the pizza. So thank you for the in house delivery slice on Broadway and our friends down there. Uh, so go check. My I need slice. to remember that next time. What that they'll come back. No, that, yeah, they'll have to come back there. But also, I don't want them to have to, so that's why I put the like, pay per view on out here too, so I could like when I was waiting for it, we'd sit on the couch, and then we all migrated out here, and it was it was a whole thing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, anyways, that, the that pizza was parade that came through. The parade, yeah. the pizza parade that came through. Yeah, exactly. So, guys, it's fi- time to find out what we learned in wrestling this week. Who would like to go first? Chat room, please chime in on what you learned. I know a lot of people were involved in a lot of stuff this past weekend. Uh, so let's uh, let's see what you what you got, uh, Riz. I know you had some experiences this weekend. Yeah. What did you learn from your experiences? You were in the I, back on graphics for RWA. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got that. You got to meet Hornswoggle. Uh, um, you were ringside for the calamity that was VCW that we talked about earlier. I mean, what uh, amongst the myriad of things that you probably learned this weekend? So many life lessons. I I learned that I kind of have to watch my surroundings in both scenarios. Okay. For multiple different reasons. Okay. Uh. Let's see for uh, for BCW uh, when at the end of the match there was the one part in the end of the match for match? Um, uh, the the gory and uh, Madman where I had to make sure that I knew what was happening so I just like decided that the, the the camera person next to me was out of the way so I'm just trying to push her away a little bit I'm like go 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 and making sure that nobody's in that line of sight of the tube. Mm. That was, yeah. Mm. Uh, there is that one. And then also, um, this goes out the horn swoggle. Uh, I, I'm sorry that I didn't get to talk to you as much because I was, pre- we were, we were in the middle of the production and yeah, it is a very big production. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta explain yourself on this one. Yeah. I'm like, <sighs> Like, like he he we were it was during the match before his he was mm-hmm. warming up he was doing everything he was doing like little, he was doing squats and all that stuff which is you know pretty cool uh but he comes over and he starts talking to us and like we're trying to like do the show and i'm like yeah. and i feel bad about <laughs> Almost snubbing Hornswoggle at that moment. But you were busy. You were working. I was busy, you know, but he's and, Hornswoggle. Yes, sort of. I know. He's Hornswoggle. Mm-hmm. Chachi wants to wanted to put him in a baby Bjorn. Okay. What? 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 Oh, I shouldn't have said that. We're just gonna gloss over that. I'm gonna yeah. edit it later. So uh, moving that on. No, don't edit. Uh, it bad in. one in the chat room says that um, if you counted zero hour. All in AEW's All in London had over ninety people on the card in some form or fashion, and that is too many people. Is it? I'd like to compare that with some old WrestleMania cards. Yeah, I was just gonna say there was the. They did have a sixteen-person tag team match. The they did have a sixteen-person tag so, team match. I mean, that definitely had adds a, on. They had an Andre the Giant Battle Royal. And then their 10 man and the gauntlets and everything, right? So. But they had celebrities. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But. They had still, the Knight family, wasn't, it wasn't the Knight good. family and all their trainee uh, cannon fodder. It wasn't good then. Mm-hmm. I, 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 it was long dead. It was definitely long, probably long now. Uh, Tina is in the chat as well in Seattle and says, uh, by the way, happy birthday, Tina. Uh, just, in, just in general, I've learned loving to see how wrestling is growing. In today's news, don't be a POS and blow your op- big opportunities. Oh, yeah, I heard yeah. some news coming out around that. All rumors and speculations for the moment that I'm aware of, that I've seen. Mm-hmm. And also, don't blow. What are you doing? Why are you showing what us am I doing? again? 
Why are you I'm showing just, this again? I'm just showing my background. Why you, like, I don't know. Riz just keeps showing this one VCW highlight in I the was, background. I was really excited about this shot. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if you saw the video before mm. it got to my shot, mm-hmm. but I, it was almost at the end of the show. Mm-hmm. I was, I was sweaty and hot and just mm-hmm. tired. Mm-hmm. But then I remember, I, I remember what was going to happen. So because I this was discussed. This was discussed on this a thread in Facebook. This was Facebook. warned that this was going to happen. That Saturday Night Special, when they won the belts in the TLC match, we're going to give uh, Bradley the biggest wedgie ever. Yes, and as soon as like I was in the opposite corner of that, <laughs> I love, you're like a human telestrator at this point. Yeah. So and then when I I <laughs> started around, show me show me then, where the underwear stopped and where it should right have there. been. In this area, this, okay. This area over here, boom. Pat Mac right with this shit, okay. And then, and then there's his pants right here. There's, there's his belt that didn't hold up anything. No, didn't do no, anything. the belt was just for show. It apparently, just was there. Okay. And then it just went like right up there. Yeah, right all the way up there. Like that doesn't I need, seem. Right. I need. I do need like a little, like a little thing. No, you're doing a great job. Up. You're doing a great job. Yeah. And then, and then uh, over and then, here and then, is where the, uh, is where. Is, like the high pressure is going to come this way. Okay. And then, uh, actually, no, no, the more, more. In in all seriousness, the high pressure went up that way, uh, in in there. And as you see, I'm not looking towards it because that's bad in meteorology. Yes, you got to look off the green screen. Yes, yes absolutely. Okay, I'm coming right, back over because right, my arm right. got You're tired. You're coming back to it. Okay, I'm coming back. Thank over. you for that. This is. I'm still uh, going to leave it here. Though. This is brought to you by. Uh, I'm this, still leaving it back. It's a uh, human. Human meteorology. Also uh, brought to you by Indie Wrestling. Got us. Yeah, and VCW. Yeah, there you VCW. go. And there you VCW. go. There you go. Got up. Got both in there. Yep. yep. Uh, uh, Beast man, what did you learn from wrestling this week? <laughs> oh God, no! You did this last time too. No, not last time. No. Three times ago. Three times ago. What are you doing? Are you like the whole thing? No, it's just wait. That's when it works. I'm gonna take down my own video. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for remembering. That. I actually played that for CL on the way back from Cleveland because I really needed to stay awake an hour with an hour left. Did you play the whole album? Uh, just mostly just that one. I think I played Disco Ball a little bit. Okay. Because I'm like, this is Missy. <laughs> So, Wait, Missy was in it? Uh, the, the disc, have we heard a disco ball song? No. Oh. Don't you have the album on there? Don't you have... This is for Afterward on Patreon. What did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that Missy was in a rap song. That's no, what I'm trying to find right now. She wasn't rapping or anything. But <laughs> dude, really more background vocals. Uh, what did I learn from wrestling this week? My God. I learned that Bachwinkle is the universal sign for a lost child now. FECW. So if you ever hear that, you know we have a wait. Lot. What was it? Bachwinkle. Bachwinkle. Yes. <laughs> All right. I was gonna say this for Patreon, but what the hell? <laughs> so if we, if you could pull up our match real fast from, the, from the okay. other day. Okay. All right. Give me a second. All right. We will go. Keep talking. All right. So we can extend this real quick because we we're probably. It, my wife just texted me pizza party. Well, obviously, she doesn't know what the plans for them are now. <laughs> okay. Surprise. Uh, okay. So. <laughs> geez, I need to go get my ass with me and go home and watch. So what, what am I looking for? So look for the part of the match where like Anna's chopping Kong. Okay. Okay. I'm so, looking for it. I'm looking for it. so after sticking around, trying to get the part of the match. It wasn't when we came outside. Did we come back in early? Yeah. <laughs> this is a great part. Where yeah, because the match just started over by our other camera person this is as where well. You're body slamming referees on it. Yes, yes. Go back like thirty all seconds. All right, hold on a second. So, first of all, there you go. All right, go, <laughs> go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, okay. We'll we'll work on this. We'll work on this. Okay, somewhere around here. Okay, maybe here ish. Uh, yeah, I think so. Right here. So These people look really concerned in the corner. Though. Yes, they do. So you see that girl right there sitting like right there? Yes. Apparently she was a lost child. She's a lost child. Yes. 
Okay. Well, hold on. go back. Go back about twenty seconds. Go back go twenty back seconds. About yeah. 20 seconds. yeah. As you guys can see, we got a packed house in the wherever the fuck we're gonna call this place. All right. So not there. Okay, I saw her pulling the child away. I thought she was protecting the child. It was just she, a random child she was protecting. I think she might have. Okay, okay. so. Hold on. Getting it. This is where you're going over the rail. Big guy yeah, is well, going over the rail. Okay, there you go. You're massacring. This is why we don't have a DVD table but anymore, by the way. <laughs> well, you killed the DVD table off of the show. I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to get those exclusive digital okay, downloads. Okay, all right, digital you. downloads. Yes. Yeah, so exactly. here comes Anna. All right. Why the Chops fuck you, you guys. She's like, why the fuck you have me do this? As you can uh -huh, tell right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and then she's like, get, I'm not now, not now. <laughs> so we go into the fucking... Yeah, I felt that later. And choking him with it, somebody's merchandise. Yep, I think that was uh, I think that was Glenn's. Okay, because we were like trying to figure out whose merch table we're gonna destroy. So, sorry, Glenn, you were, yours is right there. Yeah, that was the fact shirt. I remember that. Yep. And there's uh, there's my mother in law just like howling, beat his ass, beat his <laughs> ass, knock his head off. Mm -hmm. So while that's going on, okay. Hey, wait, do we see the child like come in? I don't know. At some point we're here, we're trying to figure. <laughs> we're trying to. Figure are we? Are out. we? Are we? Are we? Um. No, the lost child is right there. Okay, I hear in the back. She's in the back. Okay. Yeah. No, that's not them. Okay. Uh no, yeah. there she is. Yeah, she's sitting right there next to Cole. Yeah. Yeah. So. So what's the story here? We we were looking at this. Apparently, so, sorry, audio. Apparently, before I went out, there was like some girl ringing the doorbell, and she's like, and some guy's like, yeah, this lady doesn't know where her parents are. Or she, apparently she lived across the street or whatever. Mm -hmm. So while that's going on, um, you're tearing up. The, we're the tearing up. The yeah. Porch. yeah, we're tearing up the venue trying while the show's going. On. I'm just. So this child is like lost her parents. Oh no! Go back! Go back! Go! Oh, keep that clip on! Keep okay, that clip on! Okay, we gotta watch okay, it. Okay. Here's so where it got. You come over. You grab Cole. Yeah, Cole. And Cole is like not now. Not yeah, now. The man behind evil ways. And uh, and there he is. <laughs> they drop him on Congo Kong. Okay, and, and then grab grab Josh and body slam him on. No wonder he turned later in the yeah, she, in the night and, and gave up refereeing uh, at VCW. And there's and there's Anna just like tell it's okay, it's okay, it's okay to the small child who we don't know who. Yes, apparently then the cops, This you know this is like this kid is going to remember this day for the rest of yes. his life. And apparently, it, uh, apparently she lived across the street. And her parents went to the store. So okay, that's okay. what I got. Okay, so so the poor lost child got a free monster show, if you yeah. will. <laughs> so that's what you learned. You just attract lost souls in re in wrestling and life at this point, right? Oh yeah, and my my wife will fight Pondo for a stop sign. Okay, what? <laughs> I don't know. She texted me telling you that. So okay. Um and not and to make sure you swallow your food and make sure you chew your food before you swallow. I also learned that over the weekend too. That's a song for another time, so we're That's right, just like the rest of my album. Guys, thank you. The Beast Man, Beast Man <laughs> Husk on all the social medias, Victory Championship Wrestling on the social medias. What are you doing? What? I don't know, you look like you're doing something. His name and he appears. I believe in Joe Hidden. There you go. And there's another takedown we'll have from TNA yeah. Wrestling. Thank you so much. The Riz is here with that thing on the background. You got to move the other way. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, and exposed. Yeah, there, go. there you go. Bradley, I know, is go. watching another wrestling show right now, so I can't wait for him to come back and see see this uh, while he's at work tomorrow. Hi, Bradley. Uh, Hi, Bradley. I hope you're watching the Hi, visual. Bradley. Hi, Bradley. Hi, <laughs> Bradley. There you go. Um... Oh, shit, guys. It's so much fun. We got Patreon, and God knows how long we're going to go with that. So please tune in for that. Thank you, everybody, that supports us, everybody on the show. Bye, uh, everybody. I will be on yeah. Thursday yeah. night. Beastman, where are you going to be this weekend? This weekend. Yes. Uh, Friday, I'm at 2PW in Worthington, Ohio. Oh, God. Saturday, I am you in. You have a tag team championship match? Yes. Is that right? With Don Murphy? I don't know how I don't know how I'm one of the number one contenders for the tag titles, but okay. cool. Okay. And uh, Saturday I will be in Lima for uh, War Wrestling, defending my brand new War Heavyweight Title against mm -hmm. uh, the winner of the War Rumble. 
Because yeah. apparently everybody has to have a rumble now every year. So. <laughs> In the same three months, yes. apparently. Um, uh, yeah. Sword. Before, yes. Before we go. Yes. Did I ever tell you I invented this thing called Bob Seger? You what? I invented this thing called Bob Seger. Bo- you invented Bob Seger. No, no. It's called Bob being. It's called Bob Seger. You ready? Okay. Wait. You know, well, God, it's on our takedown. What? You're going to take us, get us taken down. No, so here's why. So we're okay. driving. Okay, quick story before we go. I'm sorry, but this is the I got. Here we go. So me and uh, yeah, so a couple weeks ago, me and George are coming back from a show, and referee uh, George Ross. Yes, referee George Wash. Big match, Bubby on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, so <laughs> we got Taco Bell on the way home, and I'm just sitting there. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna listen to some fucking Bob Seger on the way home. So. Anna just called me. So I, she speaks very softly. So I have to like turn it up to like max to be able to fucking hear her. And I turn. And so when she gets off the phone with me, George is getting ready to eat a taco. And I play turn the page and you hear the saxophone like you just heard. And he fucking goes. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you do that? God damn. Turn that shit down. It is a gift. <laughs> God damn you what the fuck and he spilled his fucking taco all over my fucking floor of the car wow oh and then for two hours i can't believe you got fucking made me drop one i know i could do a better george impersonation bobby why did you make me drop my taco <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right oh, enough we so. will have more stories on patreon uh again uh i'll be at thursday night fights up in new ken we'll be streaming that live on indie wrestling.us outlets uh, we will be at uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling. Back to business, and the Beastman will be there. That will be on Indie Wrestling. Use your tag chips. Look for the uh, free preview on all outlets as well for Indie Wrestling. Us, and then Saturday you're gonna have to join us in person for Big League Pro in Erie, PA. I won't be there, but be there anyways. There you go. And Sunday, I. Oh, God, it's not even a day off. We got a VCW uh, show Sunday. And then let me know if there's any good wrestling shows between Flint, Michigan, and Detroit ne- the weekend after that, because I'll be around the area. George, you know you know who to call. I know. Uh, between Hard Camp Frio and Big Match Bubby, I think somebody's going to let me know what I need to check out. Dutters will be with me. so uh, we, 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 I And I know if I'm in Detroit, I'm ready to see something really fucked up. Uh, so <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank you, Riz Plays Game. Games and uh, stay tuned for the Patreon. Where I'm, I'm sure there's something else we were supposed to bring up there. Oh, I went on my Ishi story and more. Yeah, uh, we'll be back. Uh, yeah, so uh, join us. Uh, Patreon feed is live right now on patreoncom wrestling mayhem show. If you join and click on that and check that out and uh, join us over that, and it will be up later as well for Patreon. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.